Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I want to share a build with you that I just finished. This is LEGO Stranger Things set 75810 the upside down. You guys probably remember a while back I got this set through Patreon. Actually, Evan of Just Bricking the Bucket, he's my $100 patron and he saved up for two months to get this set. And the way the tier works is that we buy the set, we build it, and then I send it right off to him. So essentially he gets his money back. And it took me a little bit of time. I was working on this here and there, but I finally finished this set and I thought today it'd be fun to give you my opinion on it. This of course isn't going to be a review. There's people out there that do that much better than I do or could ever do. So I just want to let you know what I think of this set and maybe give you recommendations on whether you should or should not buy this because that's kind of what I think I'm good at. So in this case, the Stranger Things set I think is good for one very particular type of person or actually two type of people. First type of person, if you are a huge fan of Stranger Things, this is a must buy for you. This set is so fantastic. In fact, I'm going to bring you down here just a little bit and I'm going to show you what I really love about this and we'll actually put you on the good camera here minifigs and Hopper's vehicle. So of course you have Hopper here and on the little stand, you've got all the crew of Stranger Things, including Dustin, who Clarkman has a man crush on. You got Will there who, no, no I'm not going to spoil anything. And then you got his mom, you got the Demogorgon, you got Eleven who has a cute little waffle there. I think I can say cute. There's the bicycle. And of course the main attraction to this is the house. And that is really where I want to spend my time talking about this set, the actual build of this. So I mentioned this would be really great for someone that's a huge Stranger Things fan. But also, you're going to love this set if you have someone to build with, because as you can see off the side here, there's actually two manuals that come with this. And because this set has two different halves, more or less, or top and bottom, the two of you can build this set independently. Both of these books show you, this is the, the upside, or the normal side. And then this, of course, is the upside down that's in this manual here. And with Clark Man, he built the top part of this set, and I built the bottom. And I thought that worked out really great because they're kind of mere images of each other. There's some differences, which I'll show you here in a minute. But it was really awesome because I could work on something while he worked on something. And there wasn't a situation where there was only one manual or you had to get digital instructions. Both of us could both build independently of each other and kind of work together. And that's what we did. So one thing I will say about this that could be a downside for you and it was a bit for me like if I had to build this whole thing I would say one of the downsides of the set is that it is somewhat repetitive of course because this is a half and once you finish building this literally you turn around and upside down comes out and you essentially rebuild the same thing over again so if you're a person that gets kind of annoyed with having to build the same thing and you like a lot of variety in your builds this probably isn't set for you and that actually gets compounded a good bit because these tree sections on the sides this is what it finished with so Clark did this half and I did the half and then I was left having to build the trees and for me I found that to be very it kind of gave me like nom flashbacks back to the treehouse build, which I really didn't enjoy that one so much. And I was just like, oh, let's get these trees over with. And the downside of the trees, which already you're building that, is that as soon as you're done with the first one, you've got to go ahead and build the second one. So again, there's more repetition. And what I want to say about this set, and this might trigger people, but it's kind of my feeling is that this is more or less like a $100 set that they just kind of doubled. And now it's a $200 set. And this is a set, I guess I should say, it's kind of on my radar. Like I was considering buying this. I don't know if I ever was going to buy this. And that's why I love the, the $100 Patreon tier because it gives me an opportunity to build bigger sets that I would have never had the opportunity to build. I get to experience them, share them with you guys, give my opinion. And then I eliminate the whole issue with having to store Lego by bagging it up and then mailing it out to the person that's in that tier. So that is a really great opportunity for me to build this set. I'm not hating on it by any means because I know the Stranger Things fans will, will come out in droves, but I think it's good for as I said, for Stranger Things fans, if you love great minifigs, they're all here. If you like, if you don't mind repetition, that's fine. But if you have a second person with you, you're going to have a blast with this because the two of you can build it together. That's enough of me blabbering on about who this is good for, who it's bad for, the things I like, things I don't like. Let's take you through this and, and give you a gander at the whole thing here. Again, this isn't going to be an official review, but I'll at least show you what it looks like if you're curious. Maybe you haven't seen this set and you're like, well, Greg, uh, you kind of sold me on it here. Let me see it a little bit closer. So here's the trees. We'll just kind of start on the outside here. And again, this set's really awesome because look at how it's displayed. Like there is, there's a gap under here. And especially if I move these guys out of the way, you can see how 
how this is. When I was putting it together, I had I had a catastrophe. Like I snapped these trees on the side, and you can see how they go on there. The whole thing just kind of blew apart on me. Like the roof fell off. I think of both sides, and it was a disaster. But I got it back together, and it was okay. Uh, so there's the tree on this side, and then it kind of switches over into the upside down down here, and that's locked on there pretty good at this point. I don't worry about this thing falling. It feels pretty secure as it just collapses right now. But if you flip this over, which I will be doing, you can see that the other side is a mirror image. But before I do that, I'm going to spin this around, and this is going to be my sketchy moment of the day and probably make a lot of fail videos in the future. But, oh, we're okay. We're okay. Here's the inside, and this is where you guys are really going to love it. So there is a ton of detail and character in here, and I want to show you this. This is really cool. It's got the light up there, lights up the wall which is, if you, show, if you saw the show, you can probably remember that. Again, I'm not going to spoil anything, because I imagine there's people that haven't seen this series yet, but a little bit of an attic up here. You got a camcorder up there. You got the, the wizard hat or the Dungeons and Dragons hat. And then uh, I guess I won't show you the bottom of that because you'll want to see that flipped over, but there's a trap there. You got the couch. It looks very 80s, which is kind of what it's going for. But if you take this, this is where I'm going to put you guys on a tripod because this could go really bad for me, but I'm going to flip this over so you can see the upside down. This is the first time I've ever flipped it. Oh boy. There we go. It's flipped and that actually went a lot better than I anticipated. Here's what this looks like. So obviously not nearly as inviting as the other side was, but that's kind of a part of the show. And you can look in there and see how everything is just the mirror image of what was down below. And I think that looks really cool as a display piece really awesome but as i mentioned earlier if you're building this by yourself just that repetition might be the only thing that kind of hurts you and maybe putting the trees on the side because that was a little bit of disaster i came really close i was like oh my god i think i'm i think i'm done but i was like nope gonna push forward and we got them on there and it's looking nice so there it is i'll spin it back around this side and that's what it looks like i'm really stoked to have this done actually because as much as I enjoyed this, I'm really looking forward to building the Nintendo, and I haven't built that yet because I, this was on the go, and I was like, I can't build the Nintendo until the Stranger Things is done. So Stranger Things is completed. And if you're wondering what's going to happen to this now, well, first things first, Clark Man is 100% desperate to play with this. So that is probably going to be the first thing that happens. I'm going to let him play with this to his heart's content. All the things that he's ever wanted to do in life with Stranger Things or Dustin. <laughs> As, as weird as that sounds, he's going to be able to do that. So I'm going to give him a chance to play with this. I'm sure Evan doesn't mind that. And uh, once he's done messing around with this, what I'm going to do is take it and break it all down, unfortunately. And then I'm going to send it out to Evan. There was a part of me that considered maybe just keeping it and sending Evan a brand new one because I put a lot of time into this. It sure will look great on display. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got the... Uh, treehouse right over there so it could look really awesome on display beside that but ah oh, dude i don't know i think i'd i, I think it, i got my experience in building it i have i have everything that i need out of this with the exception of it sitting on a shelf for all eternity and collecting dust so i am going to pass it back to evan and i hope he enjoys building it it's going to take me a while to tear it apart might be a good opportunity to do some breaking it down videos with you guys because, you know, it's a lot here. I do, I should probably talk about this vehicle. I love Hopper's truck. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the set, which is kind of insane considering the fact that uh, you got this giant house here. But, dude, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And, again, I hope I didn't turn anyone off of this set that was thinking about it with my talk on repetition. The repetition of the repetition. But if you're, if you're remotely interested in this set or Stranger Things, I think you'll enjoy this. And I wouldn't hesitate to make that purchase. So on that, hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, I was going to say review, but hope you enjoyed hearing my opinion on Stranger Things set 75810, the upside down. Give it a shot if you have the funds or maybe ask for it for Christmas and let me know what you think of it. Or if you built it already, let me know what you think too. And let me know if you think my opinion of it is on or if I'm completely off my rocker, I'm sure you'll already have let me know that. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.